back to another video. Today I will be making some clear mermaid slime and butter slime. Two slimes in one video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be part of the pickle jar. You thought I was going to say let's move on with the video, didn't you? Well, nope. Instead, this video is actually sponsored by Calming Leah. Thank you very much. And here is the app. Calming Leah is a match three puzzle game and what you do is complete quests from each level and as you keep completing the levels you go to different lands which looks really good I'm gonna be playing while talking so if I look down that's because I'm playing <laughs> I'm a level 18 right now so yay bravo for me <laughs> once you pass level 6 you can actually start collecting things like jewels during in some of the levels and other stuff like I got this magic power during play I mean magic power <laughs> oh like that okay no. oh look at that four combo and with your dad oh do that am I very cringy I don't know and I just completed the level. So that is basically it for this lovely app. If you want to download it, links will be in the description box. And I know I'm at a very low level, but keep in mind, I'm going to be working on this. If you can beat me, if you think you can beat my level, then you can try it out. But keep in mind, I'm going to be working on this app, so I'll go up higher and up higher into the bin. Anyways, let's move on with the video now. Pew! Well, I was fine. Okay. Was Things you'll be needing for these two recipes are a bowl, but you need two. I only have one today. <laughs> Some glitter. I use this like mermaid type glitter and some normal blue glitter. A spoon. Mine is very long. Some slime activator, I'm using some borax that has been mixed very well. Some clay, I am using this like clay that I got from the Daiso store. And of course you'll need some clear glue and white glue. You don't need them in gallons. So let's start with butter slime, which starts with white glue. Now by the way, the clay will um, make your slime bigger, so don't make too much normal slime if you want to fit a certain container next take your food coloring that if you want food coloring then yeah it's optional i'm gonna try to make this a very light blue almost like a pastel blue then take your mixing stick spoon fork spatula hand and mix up there you go now taking your black solution or any slime activator, you're gonna put in a little bit in at a time until you make some slime. Now we're gonna start kneading with our hands because it's almost finished. See how little this is? Well, it's about to expand. All right, so the slime is nice and smooth and even and beautiful. So now, oops, it is time for our clay. Ooh. This is probably about four ounces now. Now you're just gonna mix in the clay with the slime very well. Basically gonna mix it in until you see no more clay and just some butter slime. Oh my god, it turned into pastel blue! Sorry, I'm probably um, pronouncing 
pastel wrong or something. It's just the way I talk or my accent or I don't know. Yay, look at that lovely baby blue butter slime. I like this. As you can see, this doubled up the um, batch, which, yes, it might still look small, but it actually did expand. And it's a very nice, um, I mean, nice texture. It's like a clay, very soft clay. You can obviously add more clay or more of like um, silly putty clay, which you could get at the dollar store if you want it thicker. But I like mine like this. All right. So that is how you make the butter slime with clay. Now let's move on to the clear mermaid slime. Shoo! Shoo. Now it's time for our clear mermaid. We're gonna start off by pouring in some clear glue in. Now at this moment you can add your food coloring, but since my version is just plain old clear slime, I'm gonna keep it like that. So let's just move straight on to our borax. And you're gonna pour in a little bit at a time until you get your light consistency or a consistency that passes your liking. And don't worry if you have a lot of bubbles in your slime, it will disappear in um, like three to three to six days. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, so. Okay. I'm a slime monster. <sighs> so my slime is like not sticking to the bowl because there's borax. But it's not very sticky, so I'm gonna start kneading with my hands now. I think the slime is good enough. So, now we are going to take our glitters, which you can't see both at a time, but you know. Now, what I like to start off is just, you know, I like to start off with flattening my slime. That's a nice shape, Sabrina. Then I'm pouring in this um, basic blue glitter. Oopsies, like sprinkles, like you're doing the frappuccino sprinkle. That's a lot. <laughs> then, I take these special mermaid sprinkles and I do the exact same thing but opposite. Now obviously these sprinkles are harder to come out so it doesn't look as good. But come on, at least have some come out. Decent. And then you just mix it. Again, do not worry if your clear slime is white, it will turn clear. Ooh. have mixed well and you have had um, a good amount of glitter in your slime 
you're basically done. Just let it wait for a few days and it shall turn beautiful, just like Clear Mermaid. Here, let's get a close up. Zoom. Okay. Here is a close up of the Clear Mermaid, not being clear quite yet. That's a very close, very close close up. Here is what the Clear Mermaid looks like after a few days. Very nice compared to this, but this will soon turn into this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be part of the pickle jar. I cannot wait to see you all later with another video by Pickle Pickle and Bye! Bye. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. Boom.